everyone. How are you going? Karen Finnan here, musculoskeletal physiotherapist and the director of online physio. So we've been talking in the last few videos about how we go through our telehealth consultation process at online physio. So we talked in the first video about the subjective assessment, in the second video about the introduction to our objective assessment, and last video we were talking about how we get on our video call and what we use to do that. In this video, we've finished the video call and it's now the phase of building that rehab program for our patient and sending it through to them. So after our video call, what happens next is we write up a report using a template, but completely personalized to the patient of what their likely diagnosis is, what we feel the contributing factors are, and what our rehab plan is. So what things they need to do to start to get better. So that's a full comprehensive report that goes through to them that they can obviously read and read again to make sure they understand all the parts, all the moving parts of their injury. From there, we use the PhysiTrack app to put together a rehabilitation program. So we select appropriate exercises and we give them instructions to use the free app to populate the app with their exercise program. It's completely tailored to them. We handpick all the exercises and each exercise has a video a description and a suggested uh, sets and reps amount. Now, from there, the patient can set reminders to exercise each day. They can rate their pain each day. We can include an outcome measure at the start, at different intervals if we want to. And there's then a secure messaging feature. Now, from this point forward, we then instruct our patients to contact us if they want to do written-based contact through the PhysiTrack messaging system. So this is a secure internal system. It's just like, feels like text messaging. Um, so they can ask a question, we can answer it when we have the next possible chance to get to that. So from here, it's a case of letting them try the exercise program and prompting them to give us feedback on how they feel that that exercise program goes. We guide them to get back in touch with us once they've tried the exercises but we also set an alert in our system whereby if they haven't contacted us, contacted us within a week, we'll reach out to them to make sure that uh, they're prompted to let us know how they went with the exercises. If we need adjusting, then we'll do that at that point. If things are too hard or too easy or creating pain at a level that we're not happy with, we will adjust their program and then we'll give them again a set period of time to continue with the exercises before we want to re review with them again. In the meantime, they can certainly message back and forth if they have any quick questions that they want answered. So that's the exercise prescription component. We're just going to have one more video where we talk about the follow-up process and how we move to the tie out the whole consultation progress process. <laughs> we'll see you next time.